This is question number 7 from Pure Math 2, Pearson and Excel A level exam. Exam was taken on October 2023. Let us read the statement. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the circle C with center X. The coordinates are 4 and 3, negative 3. The line L with equation Y equals to 5 over 2 X minus 55 over 2. Given that L is the tangent to C at the point N, show that an equation for the straight line passing through X and N is 2X plus 5Y plus 7. Look at the diagram. We need to find the equation of the line that is passing through X and N. So it is the radius actually, okay, the point is given. We need to find the gradient of line XN. Fortunately, gradient of line L, this is the line L that is passing through N and it is a tangent line and uh, this is the gradient for that line, 5 over 2. We know that the equation of the line is given as mx plus t, okay. So, m is the gradient. So, gradient of line y is 5 over 2 and we know that this xn is perpendicular to uh, this line. It is uh, perpendicular to this line. Hmm? So, if you remember the rule, if two lines uh, are perpendicular, like uh, yeah. if the slope of this line is m and slope of this line is m1, the product of these two line, lines is always equal to negative 1. Okay. Uh, gradient of this line m1 uh, is given that is 5 over 2. If you remember, let's say m1 is 5 over 2. Okay. If you want to find m, we will take negative of uh, 1 over m1. So it is reciprocal of this line okay so m will be equals to negative 1 over 5 over 2 you can take the reciprocal directly so we can say the line xn has the gradient negative 2 over 5 uh, hopefully you understand how to get the gradient of uh, line xn this is the gradient of line xn gradient of line xn okay uh, that is m equals to negative 2 over 5 so like this you can find if two lines are perpendicular the product of their gradients is always negative 1 and we can find the uh, gradient of other line by taking the negative of reciprocal of the other slope okay this is the rule by using this formula we can find the gradient of one line and other line gradient will be negative 2 over 5 now we have gradient of negative 2 over 5 and we want to find the equation of line that is passing through x and n uh, for this part, for first part, uh, we have gradient of xn. I told you the way how to find the gradient. You can show that working here in this space, okay. Gradient of xn, it is equals to m and m equals to uh, negative so 2 or 5. Even though you can take reciprocal and directly you can take the negative of this and you can get it, okay. So it will be negative 2 or 5. Now we want to find the equation of line that is, that is passing through x and n. Equation of line passing through x. Uh, we have fortunately coordinates for x that are uh, that are 4 and negative 3. Okay, we can write over here 4 and negative 3. Equation of line passing through x and n is this is the formula for equation of line that is y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. Now you can substitute the values y1. This is y1, negative 3. Okay, so uh, negative 3 and this negative uh, will make it plus. So it will be plus 3, and here you can write as negative 2 over 5 and into x minus x1 is 4. Now uh, we want uh, to get uh, everything on left side okay so better you multiply uh, 5 here the highest denominator is 5 to get rid of this 5 you can multiply by 5 okay it is the easiest way to get rid of the denominator multiply by 5 and we, get, we will get here 5y plus 15 equals to 
and negative 2 will multiply inside inside the bracket negative 2 will multiply with x and negative 2 will multiply by negative 4 and you get it negative 2x plus 8 now we want everything on the left side so I will bring these two numbers on the left side 2x becomes positive 2x and 5y is already there and 15 minus 8 will be 7 okay equals to 0 so this is as required okay this was required in first part that's it okay for second part for b let us raise the question we want to find the coordinates of n we know that we got the two equations this is the equation of line l and we just got the equation of the other line that is this one okay now we will uh, solve these two equations simultaneously then point of intersection will be n. okay so we have here 2x plus 5y plus 7 is the one equation and other equation is already given that is uh, y equals to 5 over 2x minus 55 over 2 other equation is y equals to 5 over 2x minus uh, 55 over 2 that's it negative 55 over 2 okay let's say this is equation number 1 you can put this value in put in equation number 1 just replace y with this value okay so we will get here 2x plus 5 into value of y that is 5 over 2 minus 55 over 2 then plus 7 okay uh, we will use the value of y here that's it plus 7 equals to 0 now we will expand the bracket it will be 2x this 5 will multiply inside so we will get here 25 over 2 25 over 2x minus 5 will multiply by 55 we will get here 275 divide by 2 plus 7 okay the easiest way uh, to get rid of the denominator just multiply by 2 okay it is the easiest way to solve it multiply by 2 so we will get here 4x when you multiply 2 with this term we will get 25x and uh, this 2 will be cancelled out so it will be minus 275 and plus 14 equals to 0 solve 4x and 25 that is 29x solving these two numbers so it is negative 200 uh, these two numbers negative 261 equals to 0 uh, so it will be 29x equals to 261 and x will be equals to you divide by 29 261 divided by 29 you get answer 9 okay it implies that we can get the value of y by substituting back this value to uh, one of the equation best thing substitute over here okay it is more easier 5 over 2 into 5 over 2 into 9 minus 55 over 2 okay so it will be 45 45 minus uh, 55 is minus 10 and by solving this negative 10 divided by 2 is negative uh, 5 okay for sure so y is negative 5 therefore the coordinates of n will be 9 and negative 5 second part we need to find uh, the equation of the uh, equation of c equation of circle let me write the formula for equation of circle equation of circle c is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square equals to r square uh, here let me write the center actually center is a and b okay and we already have the center here in the question okay even though it is given here in the uh, figure it is 4 and negative 3 4 and negative 3 is the center of the circle okay uh, so we have values of a and b and now we need to find the radius radius will be the length 
of point the center and the point n we can find that length radius by using the distance formula let me write formula for you how to find the distance of two points uh, by using uh, that is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay this is a formula now we have two points this and that okay we can find the radius taking the square root of then take uh, the difference of these two 9 minus 4 9 minus 4 whole square then plus y2 minus y1 so it will be negative 5 and this negative and the formula minus negative will make it plus so it will be plus 3 whole square so 9 minus 4, 4 5 5 square is 25 25 plus 4 29 so it is the 29 here implies that we want to uh, get the value of r square r square will be 29 only now substitute the values therefore our required equation of the circle will be x minus a a is 4 and plus y minus b minus and minus this minus makes plus so plus 3 whole square is equals to 29 therefore this is the required answer for second part and uh, question number 7 is done this is all about question number 7